Why, hello there. I didn't see you come in. Don't worry, I'm not busy. I'm just working on some fruit fly drinks. Let me ask, do you know anything about fruit flies? No? Well, we'll start with the basics. Putting fruit flies to sleep using carbon dioxide. Before we talk about putting flies to sleep using carbon dioxide, we need to make sure you understand the basics of carbon dioxide tanks and anesthesia. Basically, the tank contains highly pressurized carbon dioxide at a very low temperature. As gas is released from the tank, it cools the tubing and the surrounding air. This causes the moisture in the atmosphere to condense and freeze on the surface of the tubing. Now that we understand the physics of CO2 tanks, let's talk with a professional gas man about tank safety. CO2 is so cold that it can cross the We can use it and always have a cap on every high pressure cylinder to protect the valve. Now, if that, if, uh, just what she asked the question is if this tank was to fall over, you shit it valve off. This whole tank will fly like a torpedo. High pressure. It, it, will, it, will, it will freeze you, burn you. Or maybe break some of your limbs. And so um, that is inside the gas, inside that cylinder, it's gas and it's liquid phase carbon dioxide? This is cylinder it? is considered as a, as a, as a gas cylinder. Okay. Um, we, can, we can make a cylinder like this liquid, but we would have to put, put a dip tube into the valve. And then the dip tube would draw the liquid from the gas that's in there. Okay, okay. And then you see those big silver containers on my truck, mm -hmm. uh, gas truck. Those silver containers come liquid. Okay. And it also has a gas valve on it that you can use the gas or liquid. Okay, okay. So it depends on where you're drawing the, the CO2 where you, where you from. Draw and, the and what you're using it for. If you're trying to make ice, you want a dip tube in this tank to uh, make our dry ice. Once okay. Once again, I cannot stress enough how important it is to not knock over the tank. Putting flies to sleep is fairly simple. You start by turning on the gas by turning this knob, then adjusting the pressure with this regulator. As you can see, it says increase and decrease to change the pressure. Once you have the pressure that you want, and the gas is coming out of this needle, you can test it on your hand or any part of your skin that's exposed. Take the needle, slide it into the cotton, and make sure you're holding it upside down. The flies will start to fall asleep. And then, you pull out the cotton. and let the flies fall onto the fly pad. The fly pad emits CO2, so the flies will stay asleep while you're doing that. Thanks for stopping in today. I hope you enjoyed learning about fruit flies and proper CO2 usage in the lab. Stop back next time to learn about molecular orbital theory and its implications on cake making.